Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here again. I uh, just wanted to show you my twin Sonoff setup. Uh, and I've uh, flashed both of these Sonoffs with ESP Easy. And the nice thing with ESP Easy is that it has a rules section which allows you to put in a little bit of code which is pretty straightforward. Um, and there's actually a very good video on YouTube on how to um, write rules. It's about half an hour long, so it's very comprehensive for ESP Easy. So um, what the rules does is it allows you to put a little bit of code in and have these two devices talk to one another, or one device talk to many devices. Um, and, it, and it can do that using multiple protocols. So you could have a temperature sensor on this one, and it could uh, basically when the temperature goes over a certain uh, limit you could get it to turn this sonoff off on but what I wanted to do is I wanted to turn this sonoff off on and when this one goes on turn this one on and if I turn this one off it comes back and turns this one off and I would use that in a two-way lighting circuit because in New Zealand you've got um, maybe a hallway and you've got a, a, a light at either end of the hall and you've got a switch at either end of the hall but the way that my house is wired is the mains actually comes into this switch at this end of the hall um, but the light bulb or bulbs are actually connected to the switch at this end of the hall and in between the two switches you've just got a pair of uh, one cable with two wires that is, does the crossover for the, um, the two-way switch so if I replace um, one of the switches with a Sonoff, um, what I, I would have to be able to power this one here, and then I would basically remove the two-way wire between uh, the two switches and actually facilitate sending the mains from one side to the other. So I want to be able to power this, and then I want to be able to connect the light bulb to the Sonoff here. So, or I could connect the light bulb to the sun off there, it doesn't matter. But what I'll show you how this works is that um, using MQTT, I'm actually turning this one on and then I'm sending a message to the broker that actually turns this one on. So, if I turn that one on, you can see that it comes on almost instantly. And if I turn it off, um, they both go off. But the nice thing is, is if I turn this one on, both my lights come on but of course I could just have one light at this end it doesn't matter if I turn it off at this end they both go off I can turn it on here and I can turn it off here so it effectively acts as a two-way switch now when I turn it on um, it'll be very hard to see with both those lights going but I've got my green LEDs here um, uh, so my plan from my previous video, if I can find it, here it is here, with my son off, so if I bring this down here, is to have um, basically one of these in behind a wall switch with a, a blue LED around it. And then from my previous video, you'll see that when the light is off, we have a very uh, dimly glowing a blue LED and when the light is on that will be at a, a pre-programmed brightness using PWM so that's my grand plan so what I will do is I will um, put the code that I used in the rules section of ESP Easy um, down below and it will be in a blog spot as well now um, one thing to note is that the communication using rules with the Sonoff is possible using UDP and I tried that and it's hopeless. Um, UDP is not a reliable um, transmission protocol and it only worked probably 30% of the time. So one would go on and the other one wouldn't come on and you'd have to push it twice to have it go off. But using MQTT it's, it's just been super, super reliable. So. Um, I hope that's helpful for someone. Um, thanks for watching.